What is up besties? Welcome back to my channel today. We're gonna be doing a full day of eating and I'm really excited because I have a lot of new recipes and I know I say that like every single time but I promise you I do. Your girl went to Trader Joe's this week for groceries and she got cottage cheese. And never in a million years did I think I was gonna be a lover of cottage cheese, but I am. And I found a really good recipe and I've been meaning to try it for a while and we did yesterday and I was like, this is so good. So today's Tuesday and we're gonna record a full day of eating for you. I just went to the gym. You guys obviously saw the little montage of me having breakfast, a coffee. Unfortunately, I only drank half that coffee just because I didn't realize how crunched for time I was. So I went to the gym for like 45 minutes, hit a nice leg day, and now we're on the way to solid core. My split has been all over the place because the weather has been so bad and I hate going to lift ATX when it's raining like this, but today we had to just show up and get a workout in because I can't keep holding it off. That's the worst thing about like my gym is it's fully outside so I can never get like a good workout if the weather's bad. So yeah, I'm going to input a little another montage of my workout. I did record it for you guys. I never record my workouts for YouTube and I did today. So it was a really good workout. We literally did four exercises and I went ham, I got a great glute pump. And so I'm gonna put that in for you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna get solid core workouts as well. Maybe I will, but this is like my 10th solid core class. Isn't that crazy? I'm doing solid core like twice a week and my core strength has increased so much. Like I'm so happy that I just like kind of like full sent and started to do it because I will not hit core at the gym. Like I tell myself, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll go hit core. Yeah, sure. Nope, it doesn't happen. And now that I can't hit chest anymore, or at least for the time being, maybe in a year from now I can hit chest, but as of right now, it just doesn't seem like anytime soon I'll be able to hit chest because I got my boobs done. I literally like can barely do push-ups. It's like, the feeling is so weird. I can't even explain it, but I can't hit chest. So that kind of takes a whole like workout from my split. So I have like extra time on my hands, not going to the gym where I can go to solid core or I can go to a berries workout. I love berries, it's so fun. It like, just gets my adrenaline rushing. So yeah, anyways, let's get on with this full day of eating. I have a lot of good re recipes for you and I'll see you after the leg day montage. gym it's time to make a lunch it's 12 o'clock and let me just say right now that was the like the hardest solid core class I've taken in a really long time but anyways we're gonna make a bagel topped with some cottage cheese and just a bunch of beautiful things so here we go we have the good culture cottage cheese I cannot for the life of me like use a whole one in like a sitting so we did half and now we're using another half right now And on this baby pan, we are going to cook an egg. Okay, time to assemble the bagel. We're gonna take some cottage cheese, which I need a little bit more, so we're gonna take some from 
this. We're gonna add the two eggs. And then I have this new, oh fuck, I'm spilling it. Fucking A. This new chili oil, which I'm going to try to add. And then lastly, some pickled onions. And to make it a little bit spicier, some sriracha. But there you have it, this is lunch. I don't really know how much protein's in here to be honest. Maybe I'll count it up and let you guys know, but I do know it's probably high protein. Um, half of this is 10 grams of protein, so. And then we have two eggs. But yeah, this is gonna be my lunch. I already know I'm about to make like the biggest mess trying to eat this. I also made myself another coffee. It's one of those days. Oh my god. This is so good. Uh oh. It's breaking. Oh no. Oh yeah. I've come to the realization, cottage cheese kind of reminds me of feta cheese and cream cheese mixed together. Like that's the vibe I'm getting. Hi. Hey! I'm eating the most messy meal ever. I can tell. <laughs> Did you talk to... I couldn't remember if he like, I told Sam this or something, but like, yeah. yeah, he was literally like, your podcast is so fucking funny, dude. He was like, just know you got a friend in me. He was like, you was talking about that NFL man that wanted to fuck you in the bathroom. He's like, dude, that shit's hilarious. I was like, thanks. He was like, you guys are so unfiltered. I love it. Yeah. He was like, y'all just, I was like, yeah, that's kind of funny. He was like, just know like you got a, um, like you got me as a fan. Like I, I was like, right. I fucking love you, dude. <laughs> And then I'm leaving, I'm like so far away and I didn't say bye. And he's like, bye Taylor! <laughs> I'm like, bye! Guys, this like really big macho like gym bro. Like, I'm not even like the biggest man at our gym. He's he huge. loves us, but he's like so goofy. Like guys, the bigger the man, the nicer the personality. Yeah. Like the big guys, they're I'm really so, nice. so sweet. It's the, it's the whack ass small gym bros that think they're huge and like think that they're mm -hmm. so jacked that like their egos are through the roof, but the real big guys are so like, they're like teddy bears. <laughs> they're so sweet. Yeah. All right, mess complete. Mm. And I don't know why, this is like TMI, but why do I feel like cottage cheese is just like the one food that's gonna like make me like shit my pants? Like cottage cheese. Like that just sounds like something that's just like not gonna sit well in your stomach. But I'll let you guys know. I need to do a shower now and wash my hands and clean up this mess. Okay guys, I'm like currently getting ready because Taylor and I decided we're gonna podcast today. We don't usually podcast on Tuesdays, but because the weather is so crappy and we can't get like other content done, we figured we might as well knock out doing the podcast because we don't need natural light for that. This is how I curl my hair with my straightener though. I'll show you, ready? <clears throat> I take a strand, clamp it at the top, and then just turn it like twice, if that makes sense. It's like a full 360 and then just glide down. Also, Haley called me earlier, well not earlier, but last night, and she was like, you guys wanna do karaoke tonight? So there's this bar, one of our favorite bars does karaoke on Tuesdays. And I'm like, I'd be so down for that, but it's, the weather is so bad. So we'll see if I end up at karaoke. If not, I'm hoping my friends just come over and we play card games. Cause I like hanging out with my friends midweek. Cheers me up. I'm like basically done with my makeup look. Touch over my mascara and I'm done. We are ready. We are ready. Let's go make a coffee and then I guess we're podcasting. Okay, right, so that coffee from earlier this morning, I only was able to drink half of it because I didn't want to chug it and I needed to leave. So we're making another coffee, but this time this is a latte. The one earlier was like a like an actual coffee, like cold brew coffee. This is a latte. So we're gonna do some almond milk. Sugar free vanilla, what I just got this at the grocery store. I want something that has like a lid on it, so we're using this little 
mason one from Amazon. Again, my Amazon is linked on in the description box of every video. You guys can go find everything that I get from Amazon on my storefront. But yeah, I'm just gonna obviously see if Taylor's ready and then if she's ready, we're gonna podcast, get the thing done. It's one o'clock right now. So I'll probably be done around like 2, 2.30. Today's episode is our favorites. So last time we did our favorites was like honestly like six plus months ago. And we broke it into categories. So we did favorites from like beauty department, the fashion department, the fitness department, and the food department. And I have a massive list of my favorites. So we're just gonna be rambling about those. But obviously before that, we're gonna do our weekly catch up. So this is the studio. I'm just going to prep everything. Taylor's downstairs getting another drink. Oh, is this charged or? Oh, I gotta check. I can just unplug the printer. <laughs> I need to quickly brainstorm a few more favorites, but I have a pretty good. I need more too. I need more fashion. I went outside for two minutes. Yeah. My hair got so free. I had my hair in braids, like really like cute, nice put together braids. I came home, my braids were literally, I mean, they were so- My hair's like my... fucking straight on this side right now. You should see how curled it was like 10 minutes My ago. braids were so frizzy and I was like planning on keeping braids in all fucking day. I need more bronzer on my face. And I'm actually like so pissed because I have to take them out. I'm fucking pissed. Mm. It's snack time. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna have a cup of bone broth, some turkey, and some olives and pickles. I'm just gonna munch on all of it. But I need to pour this into a cup and put it in the microwave for a minute to get it nice and warm. Mac is staring at me as usual because he thinks he's gonna get something. Do you think you're getting a snack? You're not. You would probably be icked out by olives. You can't have this. So lately we've been literally hating our animals to the point where they're just like so fucking annoying. Like Phineas, like- no, they're so annoying. No, Phineas has been like meowing at the door because he wants to go outside, but it's raining. Like, Taylor really fucked up with letting him go out that one time and now he's obsessed with it. You're a fucking cat. You don't cry at the door to go outside. You're a fucking cat. Macro doesn't even know how to cry at the door. I know. Like, why are you crying at the door? You're a fucking cat. Oh my god. And then Mac, has just been obsessed with shitting inside. And not listening to you when you say that. Yeah. Oh my god. Like if anyone wants these two fuckers that you live in Austin, you can come pick them up. No, bro, like, I let him back outside. Cause like, I'm trying to get him to like, learn to go potty outside when I bring him outside. Like, he knows that that's where he's supposed to go potty. But like, when we're not home for a few hours, he'll just shit inside. I'm like, why? I literally brought you outside to go to the bathroom before I left for a few hours. But anyways, moral of the story is when he goes outside, he'll just like lay down on the grass. Or if he or if he doesn't lay down on the grass, he'll just stand there and like sniff the air. He's like, <sighs> like just sitting there, like taking it all in. And I'm like, you're, you're supposed to be outside to go to the bathroom right now, man. And I have to like tell him to go potty and I scream, go potty, go potty. And then if he doesn't go potty, then I'm like, come inside, come inside, and he just stares at me. Guys, these little or orca things from the olive bar are so good. I got them from Trader Joe's as a snack like a while ago, but then I saw that they had them like not dried as like chips, and they're really good. I could literally eat this entire bag of turkey. It's so good. I also got sun-dried tomatoes, or are these peppers? I think they're tomatoes. I love party. I love party. The thing is, like, we literally got these things yesterday. I'm and I finished mine. Like, mine's gonna be gone probably tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't wait for summer to make sandwiches. And, like, pack up sandwiches to go to the pool. Best time of the year. So, I just spent, like, the last hour doing content. I have to do, like, a brand deal with um, my fitness pal. So, my video with them is gonna be, like, a recipe. And I'm just gonna like be like, ah, yeah, track, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I did that. The, the protein balls look really freaking good. They smell so good. I ate some of the raw cookie dough. I'm not done yet. They're just sitting in the fridge right now. What it looks like. It smells so good. It's like caramel and cinnamon. Mmm. But I gotta finish filming it. I gotta do like the whole like me making balls part. 
So I'm gonna do that real quick. It's 4.10. I'll say like around 5.36 I'll make dinner. I'm not super hungry yet. Especially if I'm gonna probably be eating some of this dough while I'm um, doing this. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to do that right now. All right guys, it is time to make dinner and everything is prepped. I just need to throw it into a bowl. We're doing a Mexican shrimp bowl. So let me show you everything that is literally in containers, going into the microwave, and then going into a bowl. So here's the lineup. We did some frozen shrimp that was cooked with some peppers and onions. We got some rice. We got some corn and beans, pickled onions, guac, salsa, some jalapeno, and then some cheese. This is the cheese we're doing. And then of course, some hot sauce. Doing some romaine lettuce. So this is like half of a romaine that I'm just gonna chop up and put into the bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna chop up this romaine. It's all gonna go in the bowl. I'm gonna throw some of this in the microwave. Alrighty, time to assemble the bowl. So we're gonna do some beans. Some corn. Jalapenos. The guac. Rice. The shrimp, the onion, salsa, and lastly, cheese. And lastly, some hot sauce. It literally looks so good. I want to take a photo of it. Look at that. Okay, done taking photos. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have to like buy more shrimp. I already fucking ran out, basically. Going through that whole bowl. Taylor, I could be persuaded to go karaoke. I don't know. I was walking outside and I was like, it's kind of nice out here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Oh, I'm not gonna be here. Um, I like take a shower and really like get ready after. But I mean. Yeah. Do you sweat a lot from teaching? Bro, oh, I've never been so tired in my life to knock it out in class. Because I have to talk. And like talking. Yeah. And moving around. Holy shit, I was gassed. I was like, this is the best cardio I've ever done in my life. I was so gassed. How many girls went last class? There was like probably like 10 people in there with me. They're pretty small. I'm, I'm rarely in like big classes in there. They're normally pretty small. Yeah, that's like, my, when I go to solid for there's only ever like 10 people. Like, there's like one class that I went to one time and there was a fuck ton of people in there, but like, not always. Okay, so I finished eating. It's now like 6.30. I'm just gonna do a little bit more work on my computer, just because why the freak not? Um, most of the work that I do, I enjoy doing, so I can work right now. And I'm just gonna continue to drink this. I actually haven't even taken a sip of it yet. It's, what was the name of that brand? I don't even fucking remember. It was called, I have a photo of it on my phone, Vina. 
in the cherry pop. It's pretty good. It's not as soda-y. It's like a sparkling water, I feel. A little expensive at Whole Foods. It was like $3 a can, whereas Olipops are like $2 a can. I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna do some work. I'm doing work right now. I'm doing like a graphic for the Instagram right now, which this graphic doesn't need to go on the Instagram until next Monday, but I like to get it done before the weekend because I know on the weekend I'm not gonna wanna do any computer work. So I'm gonna sit there and do that. Ugh, jump scare. Sorry. Um, I'm editing this video right now and I realized that I did not finish filming and I'm, a, I'm sorry about that. Also pimple patch right here. We're not gonna talk about that either. But I just had some banana bread as my nightly snack. Um, add me on Snapchat because I'm always, you know, going crazy wild on Snapchat. So if you can like match this vlog up with like the day on Snapchat, you know what I'm talking about with that banana bread. So yeah, that's about it. I will see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna vlog hopefully another day this week. So that way I can get two videos up for you guys. But other than that, make sure to subscribe. Love y'all and I'll see you in the next one.